This isn't just a record of local historical events. This fan will open a whole new aspect of World War II results. Yes, history books will have to be rewritten. Good morning from the Children TV studio in Velká Bitež. The reconstruction of our town hall clock started today. Removing several bricks disclosed some boxes with film material. We don't know what these records contain, but they are being researched by the expert. It's truly a rare find. It's amazing it was found so many years later in such a good condition. Then from this projection, have you already seen the materials? No, I just know what they do with. Today I'm going to watch them for the first time. The mayor invited me. I'm quite curious. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank all of you for coming here. Uh, we'll need your help, so please pay attention to, to the presentation and try to identify some of your ancestors for a better orientation. Thank you. This is the unveiling ceremony of the church sundial. We see the mayor and apparently his wife. We haven't identified the other man. According to the Chronicle, the blessing was given by Peter Rauch. This is another event. We see the same mayor, so the two events won't be too far from each other. We haven't identified the other man. The mayor's wife. Does anyone recognize that man with the cap? It looks important. The man with the cap was my great-grandfather. He was a farmer, successful, you know. We never really got why he started such a huge building. He went broke due to the droughts from 1906 to 1909. My grandpa, Karel Rausch, rather started a restaurant, but today I saw my great-grandfather's twin brother for the first time reprised. We have no photos of him. Yes, the school building looked like this. When it was opened in 1905, my grandpa was one of the first teachers there. There were up to 10 teachers there. It was a large school at the time, super temporal. The building was rebuilt to this shape in the 70s. Nobody believed that it could be the same building, is he? According to the films, your grandfather wasn't just only a teacher, but the headmaster. What, my grandfather headmaster? I'd have to know something about it. From what we know, the movement of Allied forces stopped May 5, 1945 at the agreed demarcation line, which led through central and western Bohemia. But this film proves US troops got much further, all the way to the town of El Capitish. I've been looking for clues wherever I can. Snubber on the G, for example. In military records, I found it belonged to Daryl's unit, but it's all I know for now. We're looking at a huge animality. I've decided to cut the British appendix. Who was this corner, Daryl? Is it possible to get so many kilometers from the demarcation line? In my opinion, there was a mistake. Colonel Darrell didn't receive the order, or he just ignored it and moved on happily. His troop was quite small for that. Yet it continued only a day longer and got 200 kilometers further. That's just incredible. It appears Darrell reached Bitesh at dawn, a few hours before the Red Army. Thank you. 
must have been exciting for you to learn the truth after all these years and to see your ancestors. Did you recognize anyone? That woman with the cigarette? Yes, what about her? She is my grandma Josefa. It is weird to see her all young and pretty. You know no one in my family ever spoke about the end of the war. What do you want is my grandpa? My mother was born exactly nine months after this, the 6th of February 1946. You know, I expected something like that. After 1948, all witnesses of the event were silenced or eliminated. Today, no one remembers what actually happened. After all, the Red Army reached Bita just a few hours later. Víte, kdo osvobodil velkou Bítež na konci druhé světové války? No, já z Bíteše nejsou, ale typoval bych to tak na rudou armádu. No, snad Rusové, ne? Uh, Rusi, no. No, rudá armáda, Sověti, ne? Já si myslím, že taky rudá armáda, že tady byla první. Vůbec nevím. <laughs> Nevím, fakt nevím. No tak, jak jsme se učili ve škole, tak to byla sovětská armáda. Generál Patton osvobodil po demarkační čáru po Plzeň a tam byl vlastně konec. To byla otázka dnů, mohlo to být klidně i jinak. Do Plzně a tam, ale tady na Moravě určitě nebyli. Pokud mám nejnovější informace, tak je to úplně jinak, než jsme si mysleli. To nevím. Osvobodil? I couldn't believe that such an event can be forgotten. I met with the historian several times. We searched for Coronel Daryl together. We found that his family lives in New York. So I went to see them and I took the crew. Yes, my father was a soldier in Europe. He was very brave. He got plenty of honors. He had his badges. I don't know exactly how it happened. I was told he disobeyed an order. He was degraded and deported. He spent five years in prison, fortunately here, in the US. I was born later in 1960. According to records, he reached Bitesh by not keeping the command. He met the Red Army. It was quite an offense. Wait, what did you say? Bitesh? Yes, I was a little boy, but I remember that word. He often smiled pronouncing that word. Lovely Bitesh. You know, he liked the Beatles. I hesitated to tell him about his sister and niece on the old continent. What good could it bring him? He probably felt sorry about it. Maybe even his father himself didn't know it being deported to the USA. Sometimes it's better to live in a pipe dream. I recognized my mistake after coming back. I revisited Helka Bitesh and handed a certain New York address to the right hands. But what about the Bitesh appendix? I'm very honored to be able to participate on this find. We already know that Helka Bitesh is indeed a historical milestone. There is virtually no survive left to fast five of this event. This film, apparently hidden by patriotic citizens, is the only proof. How Colonel Daryl got all the way to Bitesh will always remain a mystery. <laughs>